Hey, this is Reaper Wolf Gaming, and welcome back to Copy Talk. Hmm. Well, something from the Evening Whispers, Wednesday, September 30th. Uh, protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Uh oh. Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Organization fights to save more forests. The Mother Earth Organization fights to save more forests. Oh. <laughs> and that's like a orc uh, spraying down some. Huh. These Atlantic immigrants, I thought they'd be more. Um, more mermaid like. But oh, jeez. Um. Marco Ranch. Oh, from Morocco. That sounds good. Welcome. Oh, uh oh. We got a G man. Uh, good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration and Regulation and Enforcement Division. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, okay. Or FIRE, for short. Uh, how may I help you? I've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. Uh oh. We take issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be an alien in nature? Uh, hmm. I mean, to be honest, I, I think I would be truthful because his mission seemed kind of secret and it couldn't be... You know, that alien was spreading his seed to here. You, you've seen the alien movies before, right? And then they crop up and they become an issue. Or like, uh, the body snatchers, right? He did seem harmless, though. So, I don't know. I'd be 50-50 on that one. What should I be looking for? What's this, the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. According to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. <laughs> That's a, a pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been rooting, running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. Do you see any suspicious activities? Please contact us through our website. Did he say superior or suspicious? But I'm not sure. I would have to go back and look at the video. Uh, will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before you leave me? We're good. Take care on your way. Phew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, there's these two again. Good evening, Reapin. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua. Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? <clears throat> we plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a, a cup of green tea with a lot of mint in it? I think we made that before, right? Or maybe not this quite drink, but... Uh, or something similar. It was the, the tea and not the green nut. The green tea, right? The regular tea, the black tea. Or maybe it was that one, huh? Mm. Your drink's ready. Ooh. This looks really fresh. I call that... I call this... Mar... Marrakesh? Marrakech? Marrakech? I don't know. Mar... Mar... Catch in Morocco? I heard the people there 
really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my. It's warm but very refreshing. Yeah. Like ground up green tea. Or not green tea. Blah. The mint leaves, right? Oh, that sounds really good. I wonder if I could make it, you know? I think after this, I'm gonna go look it up and like see if I can make it home. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tatorek. What? Do, do we. Do we make that drink here? What? Tatorek? Huh? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I imagine it's like a coffee drink, but... Tetorek. Or what did she have before? It was like milk-based drink? Maybe it's like milk... A milk-based drink that has, I don't know, cinnamon... And honey in it? Bedchamber. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. Something that'll put you to sleep, but we'll keep it in mind. How about milk and cinnamon? That's not- ah, damn it. Did I not click the cocoa? Um, shit. Tatorek. I mean, it sounds like turmeric, right? But I'm not really sure what turmeric would be. Coffee, mint, and, uh... Mint? I don't know. See if we can make some kind of different combinations. Mint coffee. That sounds horrible. But, uh, 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 cocoa powder, ginger, mint. Yeah. She couldn't explain what it was? I don't think we make that here. Here's your order. Huh? Is there anything wrong? More like, is there anything right? <laughs> it's not what I ordered at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it for you. No need. She's still drinking. <laughs> but make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Will do. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual. Did we ever make that drink? I don't think we have. Tiring. Well, thanks to you and your team. We made some good progress on the problem we've been stuck on for a while. Uh, what the? F we had never made that before. Ta 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 wreck. Okay. I'm glad it could be of help. It's not every day our research could have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be easy for you and the team. <laughs> As if those ex 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 ah, executives care about us. Our time is not mandatory, they'll say. Please stay. Please see your family get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel pretty guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. 
it's also toxic workplace behavior <clears throat> not behavior but more like toxic workplace policies right that's what I meant to say I wish I could help you or at least say something to boost your morale sadly I'm not the right person to give you advice about that for guilt is something that also bothers me a lot even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about and you know what makes it worse I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everybody. And don't worry about it, Wakwa. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. We're already used to this. So don't worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. Oh. So what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast. Before they give you a spot to another indie. I, I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for Indies. That's good then. And the events even in Seattle. You don't need to spend or anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? There should be enough validation to, to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken. The judges are usually prolific prolific people in the industry and also senior j journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and thousands of people would be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know? You'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. G gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? Aww. Poor Aqua, but you need to... You need to grow a spy and get some more confidence. Eh, that's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. You are way nicer in real life. <laughs> Even after all that, I'll, st I'll still be there. By myself with the whole event. I mean, like, people on the internet are like. use their immunity. And, like, I don't know, it just brings out the worst in people sometimes. But in person, people don't have the that guts to be that much of a, you know, an ass. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Do it for four. Doing it for four days straight. I don't even know if you needed that extra four. <laughs> Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. No. Oh. Hmm. You know what? Huh. So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until it max, I'll come with you. Yeah? <laughs> you, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Aww, relax or something. Nah, that's no bother. We're going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an ex exhibitor badge. That's pretty cool. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I could just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 
I'm coming with you, and, and whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the... the what are you going... Now, what are you going to show the game on? Oh, okay. I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the ex expo build already? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. So, like a trailer of some sort. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Oh, we got a new customer. Hey, it's uh, Rachel. Hello, Miss Rachel. Night Reaper. Oh, my head. Okay. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> when people say it like that, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's never nothing, is it? It's just been, I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. You have a, are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet, it'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that. Those announcements of late are... Backups. Uh-oh. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yeah. And I'm excited for it. And I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Ooh. I can really go for a hot chocolate right now. So, do we have just like a, a normal hot chocolate or should I make one? Hmm. Okay. Uh, cocoa powder, milk, and cinnamon, right? It could be just chocolate and milk, but let's see what happens. Spiced lady. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, huh? Oh no, I only have one more try. Uh oh. Uh, chocolate milk. Milk chocolate. Oh no. I guess it's because it's bitter and not. I should have added more milk instead of chocolate. How's, here's your order. Thank you. And she drinks it. It's like, ah, uh, how is it? I'm like, uh, I don't think this is what I ordered. I mean, it's a cup of hot chocolate. But there's nothing special about it. Oh, I'm sorry for the mistake. It's okay. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Yeah, I should have put the honey in there, huh? To make it sweeter. Other than the instructions on the loading screen, I'm, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I've never worked in the service industry. I'd be a bad bartender. I'd try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? <clears throat> Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. Uh, that makes sense. You don't want to put a time limit on it. Try editing the demo with a cliffhanger. I should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did... After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Reapin. I didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. 
Well, anyway, better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. That sounds actually. Uh, I want to try something like that. Hot chocolate with ginger. Uh, it's the things that we said, right? Oh, oh no! I should have looked it up real quick before I made it. Okay. Oh. Your drink is ready, sir. <laughs> my, my, my. I was, I was a little worried my, my, my memory was gonna do a me again. This is amazing. I'm glad you liked it. I kind of wish I made it for both of them. Dad? Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Damn. She is not happy with you. <laughs> not until you leave that good for nothing pervert. Uh oh. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since he left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you're afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? They'll lock me up in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. <laughs> Cause this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years. And you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Oh. oh. Damn. The one-two punch right there. An uppercut. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I gotta stab it straight into the gut right there. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know. I could return to the industry. I mean, if he has his informants, right? I don't know. I'd, I'd take, like, a recording of, like, proof that this guy is not... This Morris guy is, like, uh, a sleazeball, right? I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I'll, I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He is my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I mean, technically, there are so many competitors out there that you can probably find somebody else, right? I've made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. Don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. It's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I, I don't know. I'm staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Excuse me for a moment, Reapin. <laughs> Man, I don't like guys like that. I'm sorry about what just happened. It's... I mean, it's not like about guys in general, but it's like... 
I can't get that emotionally, um, that it, like, messes with my logic, right? Uh, the Spanish Sahara, yeah. I'm sorry about just what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business, anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. <laughs> I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? I mean, it, it is pretty awkward when, like, dirty laundry is aired out in the public, right? <laughs> That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? <laughs> no, I was listening. I made notes. See? You didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it. It happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful, useful after all. Yeah, uh, sometimes we didn't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Reapin, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. And thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. This game is hard, man. <laughs> it's like we don't know some of the trick names here. I guess that's all for tonight. Oh, nope. one more. Oh, he's back. Oh, you're back, Miss Henry. Uh, Mr. Deflated Man, Cat Man. Are you all right, sir? He doesn't look all right, sir. Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with uh, Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I, I hope you are right. By the way. Pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel... Something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. I know, that's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennia. It was a great time for girl bands, you know? They're huge in the 90s. And they were still enough. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a recent uh, record label. And that's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands. Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unmanageable stuff. Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle. Banning their responsibilities, their families. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault, Jesus. This is before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. <laughs> I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they, they love us for it. It's 
more than enough for our little family. You know, I didn't know much about records before, um, but how do I explain it? Records can be like they're like a, a source of like high quality audio, right? Uh, if you're like an audiophile, records are some of the like lossless audio types out there. Some cool stuff. Um, some people like that scratch the, you know, the desk too, but. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. You visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at the, at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Reapin. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. And that was the day. It doesn't leave you on a good note, huh? But. And. That's just another day in another life. I copy talk. I'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye.